Hi. To be honest, going into school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do after I graduated. I really liked the uh, like hands-on experience with co-op, um, not just studying sort of in class, really participating, kind of being in like the outside world. I was offered a job with Health Canada. It was actually in the cannabis industry, which was super relevant. My friends thought it was totally cool. <laughs> I just finished my first co-op term with Global Affairs Canada, and it gave me exactly the experience I was looking for with the co-op program. And and I was working in content creation and I created tweets that went on the official Canada uh, Twitter account. Just being able to communicate professionally with license holders and talk about ways to promote selling cannabis has been really fun. <laughs> Ryan Reynolds does follow the account and every time we wish him happy birthday on the account, he does retweet it or comment on the post. It's not every day that you get to write a tweet on behalf of your country for their official Twitter account and have a celebrity retweet that. There's a lot of math involved, so we're calculating like cannabinoid contents and the ranges between like THC and CBD, as well as just like terpenes. And you know, we talk a lot about like restricted ingredients, so we have to you know, we use our knowledge that we've learned from school sort of to see if like certain ingredients can work and with cannabis products and that can be accessible to the public and it's safe for them to use. And I also got put on the analytics team, which was really interesting because that's not something I had really done before. And all of that knowledge that I gain is knowledge that I'm currently applying um, in my student job. And it's all knowledge that I can see myself applying further down the road in any job in the field of communication that I will have later on. And my next co-op will be in a TV production company um, doing research for a TV show. And I think I think that'll help guide me to find out what it is that I want to do. It's helped me to explore a lot about myself and um, so far I know that after I graduate I think I would like to actually sort of venture into the business side and maybe combine science and business together. So that's something I had no idea I was going to do before co-op. I assumed I would be like making the vaccine. <laughs> The University of Ottawa has a co-op navigator and through that website you can apply to a bunch of different placements. You put your resume directly in the platform and you just go through and you apply to any job you want and it uploads your co-op resume right to it. Then you just wait until you're asked for an interview. It was super simple. There was lots of employers, whether it's in the public sector or in the private sector. For like my first co-op term, I applied to like over 50 jobs that I wanted to interview for. So it's really rare that someone will go through the whole process and not find a co-op placement. Being able to work full time and being paid uh, was pretty nice on my bank account as a student. It really helped me kind of pay for my rent, tuition, like groceries as well. Just like an experience in first year is I would be at the grocery store and I checked my bank account, had like $25 in it. it, was had to send my parents a text to shoot me some money over. So it's just nice now not to have to do that and rely on them. I can just afford my own groceries. So they're pretty happy about that. The professional development team is there to help you and there's a lot of services that they offer that can help you out. So whether that's helping you write your resume or um, practicing interviews. The most important thing that I've been learning through the co-op program is really confidence and being confident in myself. I think it's really helped my own skills and helped me land my second placement for co-op. Um, I'm pretty sure I crushed that interview. <laughs>